Hi, Jeff Cote with Pacific Yacht Systems. Here we are at the Vancouver International Boat Show in 2019, and I'm standing right beside one of my favorite products for boaters, a methanol fuel cell. Effectively, a battery charger that's powered from methanol, right? You know, this device is really handy for boaters that are coastal cruisers, right? Meaning uh, they already have some battery power supply on their boat, right? They might have, they've got batteries, they probably have an alternator, they probably have a battery charger. And, you know, their batteries are not enough. They can't add more batteries on their boat and they want a way to recharge batteries because battery is good to store power. But as a boater, I mean, it's sort of like been giving money. That's one thing, but you want a way to create money, create power. And for places where maybe the sun is not shining as much, right? You're going so north that there's not that much sun. You're boating in the winter time, in the fall and spring. A methanol fuel cell is a way of creating methanol, taking methanol and through this fuel cell, creating a slow and steady DC charge, right? And because it's so quiet, right? It, it hums at 22 decibels. It's got practically no vibration, no smoke. It emits... Um, a little bit of distilled water that we capture and some boats that actually have flooded lead acid batteries, what they're going to end up doing, they're actually going to have the distilled water to top off their batteries. These devices come in three sizes. There's an 80 amp hour a day model. There's a 140 amp hour a day model or a 210 amp hour model. They're all the same physical size. They weigh about 30 pounds. Um, we're going to install them generally as close as possible to the battery, but it doesn't have to be. Um, on my boat, I installed one. I was one of the first ones to do it here in British Columbia about seven years ago. And uh, we use it because in the, in the wintertime we boat. And it's actually beautiful out here. It doesn't freeze that much. Sometimes it does, but most of the time it doesn't. And I've actually spent Christmases in the islands alone, nobody. And the only thing that allowed me to be there without being connected to shore power was this methanol fuel cell. So it also comes with a nice little remote. It's automatic, which is a big key. People are worried, oh, I'm gonna to have to turn it on and off, Jeff. I'm not sure, I don't wanna have something else to manage on my boat. This actually will turn itself on when it senses a low voltage. We'll stop charging when it feels that the batteries are sufficiently charged. So this is effectively a smart charger. Instead of being powered by AC, which is you know, either from shore power or generator, you actually have this device powered by methanol. You know, boating in the wintertime or places where there's no sun, fall or spring, as a boater, you're kind of stuck. Like, if you don't have an AC or DC generator on your boat, how are you going to recharge your batteries? And this methanol fuel cell basically is a battery charger powered by methanol. So it's a really handy device to have on your boat, right? And it's a way for us as boaters to not worry about my batteries are constantly depleting as I'm running all these loads in the off season or even in the summer season. You might be a boater that's going up north and there's not that much sun as you're going up and heading to Alaska. This is a great device to create power for your boat. And if you ever sell the boat, it's easy to remove it. And I've done that on multiple boats where people are changing boats. We take it off one boat and when they sell their existing boat, this is not part of the equipment list. They just move it over to the other boat. Or even another one that's interesting, I have boat owners that have also campers and trailers and RVs. And we'll actually pre-wire this in both the camper and the boat, and they'll actually simply take it out, it's only 30 pounds, move it over, and then they'll actually use this device on both of their recreational, right? Either a boat or an RV. So really, really handy device. Anyways, I want to thank you for watching. There's more content on our website about eFoys. I've written multiple articles in Pacific Yachting. You can find them on our website as PDFs or HTMLs. And we also even have more content. Feel free to contact us if you're interested in a methanol fuel cell for your boat or camper. Thanks for watching.